Well, howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Cowboy Jack. I'm real excited you're here with me today. We're here at Horse of Course Stables in Conroe, Texas. Do you see what I'm doing right now? I'm sitting on my buddy Gus. He's a really pretty horse. And we're about to learn all about horses and all kinds of things that go along with horses. So I hope you're ready to have a good time. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to talk and meet and learn all about different types of horses and how we take care of them and also how to be safe around them because that's real important. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Hey, come over here. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hey guys, I got a question for you. What do you call a horse that lives next door to you? He's a neighbor. Get it? <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. All right, guys, well, here I am with my friend Alexa, and she's the owner here at Horse of Course Stables here in Conroe, Texas. And we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So she's gonna teach us a thing or two about my friend here, Honeybee. Honeybee's a big, big horse. She's really sweet and friendly, but she's a gated horse, which means she has a really steady walk. Whenever somebody's riding her, you're not bouncing around like this, like you'd expect to. You're actually just kind of hanging out. So if it, if it, when it comes to horses, honeybee here is kind of like a Cadillac, real smooth. All right, so what are we gonna learn about grooming? All right, Cowboy Jack, so our first brush is the curry comb. Whoa, curry comb, you guys see that? Look at this, it's kind of got all these really hard bristles and it's flexible too, but it's not too flexible. So she, honeybee's actually gonna feel this when we're using it on her. So what do I do with the curry comb? You're going to push hard and make circles all over her body. Okay, like and this? Can, yes, sir. And you can push hard. Look at that. This feels like a massage to honeybee. She likes it. It's feeling really good for her. <laughs> that was neat. <laughs> all right, enough with the curry comb. What do we got next? The hard brush. Hard brush, hard brush. This one has really hard bristles. Can you hear it? You see all that hair coming out because we actually use this on horses. So I'm gonna go ahead, what do I do here? You're gonna push hard and you're gonna flick going with the coat and you're gonna flick off all the dirt and hair that we just loosened off with the curry comb. Can you guys see all that dirt and hair coming off of honeybee there? That's really neat, wow. And you see how shiny she looks now? It looks really nice. It's really soft too. All right, well there's the hard brush. What do we got next? The soft brush, Cowboy Jack. Soft brush. I wonder why they call it the so Wait, I know why they call it the soft brush. This one's really, really soft. Feels kind of like a pillow. Nah, I'm not gonna lay on it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on honeybee first. So what am I doing with the soft brush? I'm gonna do long strokes with the coat and this removes all the dust. So this really makes her shine. All right, honeybee, let's knock that dust off, girl. Just like that. I bet that feels really good. I like it. It's kind of making me sleepy. Okay, enough of the soft brush. Let's stay awake, guys. You with me? <laughs> now what do we got? Now we're gonna brush the mane. Oh, the mane. So horses, kind of like lions and, and other big animals, have a mane that goes right down their neck. Hers is really pretty. So I'm gonna use this brush just like this, kind of like you'd brush your hair. And what we're doing is we're just making sure there's no knots or anything in it. And it's looking really, really pretty. Honeybee makes it easy on me because she's already a beautiful girl. She's such a majestic animal. Wow. Look at that. And we can even brush what they call her forelocks, which is right here up on her head. See that? She's got a little hairdo going on. I can brush that too. All right, girl, you look ready for picture day. How about that? Thanks for letting me brush you. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Wait, what do we have next? We have one more Cowboy Jack and it's the hoof pick. Hoof pick, ooh, the hoof pick. Now I already know what to do with the hoof pick because my friend Alexa already told me. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clean um, honeybee's feet here. Horses have a different kind of feet. It's called a hoof and they have an empty void in their foot that looks like a V shape and that's actually called a frog. 
frog, not like the kind that hop. It's just a funny term that's used for the inside of a horse's foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna do. All right, honeybee, foot, foot, good girl. See, so I'm gonna use this pick here and we're just gonna see how that looks like the letter V. What I'm doing is I'm scraping out that V and making sure it's real nice and clean and then we can brush it like this and make sure it's clean. So before I put her foot back down because she's such a big majestic animal, I'm gonna make sure I'm all clear. Okay, thanks honeybee. And see, she just puts her foot back down and we go about our day. See, horses don't have feet like you or I. They have hooves, which are hard on the bottom, but they still get bruised and hurt, kind of like ours if you step on something bad. So we use the hoof pick to make sure there's no rocks or anything impacted in their hooves. That's really cool. Did you know that some horses even wear shoes? Yeah, horseshoes are protect horses against hard surfaces like roads, and if you're not riding on soft things like dirt or grass or like in a field. Um, honeybee doesn't do that because she lives here on the soft ground. Hey, let me ask you something. Do horses wear socks? Nah. <laughs> All right, guys, that was so fun learning about grooming. That was a good time. I hope you liked it. All right, guys. Well, I bet you didn't know this about horses, but they actually need to stretch, especially after they have a riding lesson or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do a stretch with Honey Bee. First, we're gonna put a treat down here and let her get it so she stretches her neck right down here. Good job, girl. That was really good. You feel stretched out? Now we gotta stretch your neck down to your knees. Are you ready? No cheating. <laughs> ah, she got it. All right, now I'm gonna come around on the other side. And we're gonna do the same thing. So honeybee, let's get you, uh, hang on. You're cheating right here. All right. And now let's go down to your to your knee. I'm right here, girl. Oh, you're eating too fast. Tried to make her eat too fast. Hang on. All right, down at your knee. Good girl. All right. Let's do one right in the middle for you. Stretch out your neck real good right here, okay? Right here. There you go. <laughs> You feel stretched, you look stretched, you feel loose. Sometimes I have to stretch too. I get a little tense, I just loosen up like this. Ugh. <laughs> All right, me and Honey Bee are both in good shape now. That was a lot of fun. All right guys, well as you can see, I'm sitting on what's called the saddle. This is actually a Western saddle. It's called a Western saddle because it's got this big horn on it and you can rest the reins on it. You're not really supposed to, but you can. But this is where you cowboys, you'd see them tie things off and things like that. So yeah, this Western saddle is really pretty and it sits on a saddle blanket right on Gus's back. I bet Gus is really excited to have Cowboy Jack up on him today. Nah. <laughs> but uh, the other thing that you'll notice about me is I'm wearing this. This isn't my normal cowboy hat, it's a helmet. You always gotta be really safe when you're riding horses. You never know what could happen. So I'm wearing a helmet, so if something did happen, my head would be nice and protected. Well, I'm sure glad Gus is, is willing to let me up here and, and hang out with him. I feel like I'm really tall and really high up in the air. I'm gonna pretend to be just a cowboy just for just a second. yee <laughs> That felt good. All right, I think I've had enough fun on Gus right now. <laughs> we'll see you back down on the ground. Here at Horse of Course Stables, it's not just about horses. They have a lot of other animals too. I found my little buddy Coda here. Look how cute she is. She's a beautiful little uh, beagle minpin mix. She's really, really cute. <laughs> Coda's really sweet. I like her a lot. All right, my friend Coda's gonna show us some of her tricks. Hey, Coda, look what I got. All right, can you dance for me? Dance, dance. Wow, she's a really good dancer. Good job, girl. <laughs> Did you like that treat? All right, look over here. Coda, Coda, bang, bang. 
Oh, just kidding. You get back up. She's so sweet. All right, girl. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Give me five. High five. Give me five. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, thanks, Coda. Thanks for hanging out with me. Boy, I really like Coda. She's such a sweet pup. All right, let's go learn some more about horses and tack and all these crazy things about horses. <laughs> So guys, remember when I was sitting on my friend Gus and I had that Western saddle and it had that big horn here? This one here is actually called an English saddle and it's made for more like jumps and, and really fast riding and, and doing different kind of tricks on a horse. The reason being, you don't have that big horn right here that would hit you when you're standing up. So these stirrups are actually a little bit more sturdy because they're actually made for you to stand up on while you're doing jumps. It, they're really neat. And this leather looks so pretty. It looks a lot like my vest. I think it might be a little bit nicer than my vest, but mm, I don't know, I still like it. <laughs> hey guys, while we were looking at that saddle, I noticed something on the ground, something moving, which was crazy. You know what it is? Come look at this, these are leaf cutter ants. Do you see these ants walking along the ground and they're carrying these big leaves. It looks like they can carry things that are like five times as big as their own body. They're really neat. I'd pick one up and show you, but I don't want to get bit. If they can cut up a leaf like this, I bet they could hurt your hand pretty good. So we're going to just stay safe, let them do their thing, and oh, Coda, watch out for those ants. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let the ants get to their destination. They're working really hard holding those leaves and carrying them off. So I bet they're going to take them somewhere and eat them and maybe even build something cool. I don't know. I'd find out, but you know what I'm here to do? Learn about horses. <laughs> Like I said, there's all kinds of animals here. Look what I found. You guys know what this is? It's a chicken. Hey, hey, let me ask you something. Why did you cross the road? Hello? Why'd you cross the road? She's not talking. The mystery continues. <laughs> I found another friend here. It's so fun. She's looking right at me. Ah, hi. <laughs> she's a La Mancha goat. That means she's bred to give goats milk, like kind of like cows do. She's a milk goat. Whoops. She doesn't like our, our friend Coda here very much. <laughs> you know what her name is? Monk. You know what her sister's name is? Key. So together, they're Monk Key. Monkey. <laughs> That's really cool. Wow, hey, thanks for letting me hang out with you today. See how she doesn't have any ears? That's how, just how she's born and how, they're, how they look. It's really neat. Boy, all this running around and having fun learning about horses and even talking to my buddy Coda here has me feeling a little bit hungry. And it's always good to stop and, yeah, Cowboy Jack needs a snack. It's a good thing I brought my lunch bag. Here we go, I got one right here. I'm gonna sit down with Coda and see what we've got today. Hey, girl. <laughs> I think she's more interested in my snack than I am. Let's see what I've got. Ooh, always important, guys. I've got some good water for us. Good old-fashioned H2O. I'm going to take a sip. My lunch blew away. Did y'all see that? Probably because it didn't want to get eaten. I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. Anyways, that was really good water. Cody, you want some water? <laughs> Let's see what else I've got today. Always good to have a healthy snack. Do you guys see what this is? Whoa, check it out. Yeah, these are veggie straws and they're really cool. They're really tasty. I'm gonna put my bag down. I'm gonna set the water on top of it because it's kind of windy. I don't want it to blow away. Let's have some veggie straws. This one looks really tasty. Do you guys know what color that is? Yeah, it's yellow. You knew that. Ah. Mmm, they're really crunchy, wow. What color is this one? What do you guys think? Yeah, that one's orange. Well, I like orange a lot. It's one of my favorite colors. Do you want to spell it with me? Let's try. O-R-A-N-G-E. Yeah, orange. Wow, that's great. Mmm. I tell you what, guys, these veggie straws are really good. Mm. 
and they're really, really, really tasty too. Hmm. I'm gonna put these back up. Save a few for later. <laughs> now, have another sip. <sighs> Feels nice to kind of stop and take a break. Every once in a while, you gotta get a deep breath in. Do you guys wanna take a deep breath with me? Let's do it. <sighs> I feel better. Hey, Coda, do you feel better? You do? Hey, I think she wants a veggie straw. You want a veggie straw? All right. There you go. <laughs> I think she liked it. I think she liked it even more than I liked it. All right, guys, let's get back at it. Hey, guys. Wait, what? What's going on there? You guys look different. Wait a second. Are you upside down? Turn around. There you go. <laughs> now everything's back to normal. You guys love your jokes. Hey, I had a great time here today. We learned all about horses. We learned, I, well, first off, I got to ride Gus. He was a really good friend and I had a great time with him. And then we got to brush the other horse and learn all about the different brushes and how to take care of their feet. That was my friend Honeybee. And then, of course, we met my friend Coda, the puppy dog, and we met the chickens. We just, it's been a whole day of animals, guys, and it's been so much fun here at Horse of Course Stables in Conroe, Texas. And I hope if you're ever in the area, you'll look them up, and especially if you want to learn how to ride, there's nobody that can teach you better. So I, I know I had a blast, you had a blast, I had my snack, I feel full, and uh, I don't think I have any other questions about horses. I think we answered them all. So hey, if you had a good time today, go ahead and subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. And I hope to see you again real soon. But until then, yeah!